we're going to the top of the waterfalls. We're not even to the top. We're still going. And there's the first town in Germany, all of Germany, to use hydropower. They have a golden hoop, and they would wear the red hat if they weren't married yet, and they would wear a black hat if they were married. All right, we're back at our Airbnb, and you should come check it out. We think it's one of the best ones we've seen yet. Welcome to Ellie's Hidden Gems, and today we're going to be exploring the town of Treeburg. Stick around to the end, and you'll see one of the specialties from this region that we try in a restaurant. It's really delicious. What do you think it is? First, we're off to the biggest cuckoo clock in the world. Yes. But we have to be quick because they close soon and the thing cuckoos every hour. Otherwise, we'll have to sit there for an hour. Bye-bye. 16 minutes until they close. Will we make it? What's happened? We're at the biggest cuckoo clock in the world. Yay! And it's completely handmade, like none of this was manufactured. Throw in one euro, the dance. Ellie got us safe and sound to Etika, and we got lots of bread. And uh, now we're walking back home to relax a bit, and we found the ice cream shop. There's those bells. <laughs> we found the ice cream shop, so tomorrow, after our morning adventure, I get ice cream. Where are we going, Ellie? We're going to the top of the waterfalls. So Treeberg has the highest waterfalls in Germany, so we are going to climb to the top of them and it should take about half an hour. When we get back, we'll show you around our Airbnb because I think it's a really cool place to stay. And then we're going to go to a special delicious surprise. This might be rookie mistakes, but because we went up and down the hills for running today and now we're going uphill to hike up waterfalls, Tomorrow, we're going to go hike up the Zugspitze, which is a video you'll see next week. I'm 
kind of nervous that my calves are gonna give me shin splints or something. Oh boy. We got a new microphone for our camera. It's sticking above the camera right now. It's got some hairs on it to diffuse the sound. So once in a while you might see some of the hairs pop down, so we're sorry about that. I'm doing my best to keep them out of the shop, but it's kind of windy and sometimes it's just not possible. We put hair gel on it this morning to like keep it kind of out of the way. It's not working super well. I should have used more. I didn't really want to damage it, so I just used what was left on my hands after doing my own hair. We're not even to the top. This isn't even the main waterfall. We're still going. Time for the professional. Today, Ellie gets the amazing responsibility of being the camera holder. She's doing a great job. No, I'm not. I already whacked it on a rock. I don't usually bring both cameras places. We don't also end up by waterfalls, and I've been really wanting to take long exposure shots for a long time, and I finally have a tripod that's light, easy to carry, and um, holy crap, these hills are making me winded while speaking. <laughs> Tomorrow will be a blast. This is Ellie's walk backwards technique. I'm doing this to maybe hopefully save my calves a little bit for tomorrow. I know you may be thinking that I'm ridiculous, but we have really gone up a lot of hills today. <sighs> As you climb up the long climb of the waterfall path, there's lots of different signs that tell you like fun, interesting facts. And actually, they use the waterfalls here for like hydro energy. They did it since 1884. Back then they used it just to power the street lights and even then it was more power than they needed and now they use it to power a thousand households. That's actually really sweet. They've been renewable for a really, really long time. And there's the first town in Germany, all of Germany, to use hydropower as a renewable resource and for energy. So Yay. cool! Treeberg is part of the Black Forest region, and you may have heard of the Black Forest region of Germany, or like Black Forest ham. It's called the Black Forest because the trees are so dark they look black. I guess I should specify, they look black from a distance, not up close. Hit the thumbs up button below if you want to see more videos like this and please consider subscribing we're trying to make it to 100 subscribers and when we do we will let you all pick the next place we travel to within germany support us in our travels by becoming a patreon member for as little as two euros or two dollars a month you can get extra access to content like polls behind the scenes footage and you can also get postcards Do you see that incline? Do you see this decline? If you want to work out, don't even worry about running. Just come climb the falls. Climb a little faster if you need a little more exercise. It's a lot. If you have a smart watch of any kind, your goals for the whole day will be met, I guarantee you, by visiting the falls. What a great reason to come. We're almost there, we think, we're hoping. We don't know. Ellie needed a water break and to cool down and take off her sweatshirt. We reached the top. The waterfalls are 163 meters from top to bottom. I just climbed it all using Birkenstocks. They recommend you use sturdy footwear, but the trail is paved, so I think you'll be fine. Ellie's never cared to wear real foot equipment for long hawks. It's a wonder she's going to wear tennis shoes tomorrow for our other hikes. Oh, you don't know. You are. And so we did all that work to get up here, and now we're going back down. I don't know if you can see it, but that's where we started, right down there. We've walked a lot. Time for your hiking shoes. Oh boy, I'm gonna try not to fall while talking. The waterfall is like 
park has multiple trails that you can do and we're taking the nature trail back down. It's really rocky. This is definitely where maybe you want to have your hiking boots. But we'll make it. It will all be okay. We've just come down from the waterfalls and now we're off to... Well, I guess now we get to enjoy our vacation and just enjoy Treeburg. Oh, and we need to find a t-shirt for Ellie's mom. And ice cream. We get our after waterfall ice cream. Something else I'm learning is that you have the opportunity to have new experiences, but they seem really daunting at first. Usually I'm like scared at first, but then when I do them, I feel so much better. We've climbed to the top of this super high waterfall and it doesn't seem so daunting now, now that I've done it. So that goes to say that whenever you have the opportunity to try new things, try them. You might be different because of it. And these little stickers that you'll see on the sidewalk, they lead you on the path to the waterfall. House of the 1000 clocks. They're really famous because they have a thousand different cuckoo clocks and they also have a lot of other things. You can also order from them online and ship it to you wherever you may be. In the Schwarzwald or the Black Forest they have a bowling hoot and they would wear the red hat if they weren't married yet and they would wear a black hat if they were married or if they didn't want to be bothered by that. We got our traditional ice cream. I got uh, raspberry and green apple. I've never had those before, and green apple seems kind of cool. And Ellie got stracciatella and coffee. And now we're off to get that special tree dimension. Do you know what it is yet? What comes from the Black Forest region? Schaefer is where they make the original Black Forest cake. He makes like, I don't know, eight or ten of them fresh every day and they're delicious. So Ellie's the one with all the tree burger experience between us two, and she took me to the lovely Cafe Schaefer, which you saw, to try out some Black Forest cake. Ellie, you start. What do you think about the cake? The last time we came, I remember it tasted differently than it did now. This time it had a little bit too much Kirschwasser cherry liqueur in it. The original Black Forest cake has cherry liqueur, cherries, chocolate cake, and whipped cream, and a cherry on top. I agree about the liquor thing. It's surprising to me in the first bite, but I don't really care for the cherry liquor. The bites, when I did get a lot of it, I just kind of wished it would stop. Um, but the rest of the cake was delicious. The frosting was delicious. The cherries inside were delicious. So I loved everything about the cake. I just wish it could be slightly less liquory. And there was a delicious like hard crust on the bottom. That was like my favorite part. All right, we're back at our Airbnb and you should come check it out. We think it's one of the best ones we've seen yet. Welcome to our apartment. Here you have the beautiful kitchen. You have a dishwasher, a stove and an oven, coffee maker, pots and pans. You even have tea and seasoning and all the glasses you could imagine. I don't know if this is part of the real timbering to support the house, the real frame, or if it's just for looks, but it's very pretty. You have this gorgeous couch. You can have the backrest either up or down. Down, you just pull it all the way forward. 
there and stuff. A gorgeous chess set, which is nice because we love chess. This wide open space, the dining room. There's 50,000 mirrors on the wall. They're like built into the wall. I'd like to know if it breaks. How do you fix it? And then you have some lovely 60s or 70s furniture. Followed with some beautiful beds. They're actually quite comfy. We bring our own pillows because we're kind of particular. A dartboard. The bathroom, which is also gorgeous, but this is dangerous if you stand up from the potty. You could hit your head. And you have another sink. And a teeny tiny shower. Wait, there's one more room. Guest bedroom with a closet. And that wraps up our time in Treeburg. I couldn't have asked for a better way to start our nice little vacation that we're having. The city's so like quaint and small, still kind of touristy, but at the same time it feels like it can stand on its own. And this apartment is absolutely amazing. I think Treeburg is really special because they have a lot of unique like firsts, which I think is really cool. And I found out that the Cafe Schaefer is not the first ones who made the Schwarzwald Kirschtort. The man who invented it, it lived in Bonn. I think it was Albert Schaefer, who was an apprentice for this man who invented the cake. The man gave the apprentice his original recipe. He started this cafe here, and now this is his son who does the business. So the recipe is original. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe below. We're also going to start putting a new thing down in the description, so if you like the music that we use, we're gonna start crediting the artists. The link in the description below, that'll take you to Artlist, where you can also, if you ever wanna use that music, you can use our referral code as well to start your subscription with them. We really appreciate it. And secondly, we're going to start putting links for the Airbnbs we go to below, assuming that we like them. We think they deserve that kind of credit too, so if you ever need a place to stay in Treeburg, you know a place to go that's highly recommended. For December, we're doing something special. Make sure you stay tuned for what's coming up in December and hit the subscribe button so you are informed and the bell notification. We'll see you later. Not in front of the porta potty. Bad Ellie. So Ellie's the one with all the. Mm, excuse me. I'm gonna start over. <laughs> Why are you filming me carrying the tripod? I'm filming your feet. I mean, now, now you can... You bring ridiculous and you know it. Okay. What do I even think? Um, hang on. As little as two euros a month. Okay. Um, God, now I'm going down a snake trail. She's doing a great job. No, I'm not. I already whacked it on a rock. The tripod, not the camera. Details. It's carbon fiber. It should be okay. Carbon fiber breaks easy. No carbon fiber strong. No. Bikes can snap in half when they're made of carbon fiber. So can steel ones. I did it to her bike. You backed into it with my truck. Snap anyways. I look like a nut. You're a goddess with an amazing tripod. On this little trip, we like ordering like whole fish, like carry because they're mackerel and I'm like, look.